Hello friends, I'm Dr. Kumar, doctor from Dr. Rai Institute and welcome back to this channel of iLogs. I know there has been a big gap but we are back again with the latest episode on laser in eye surgery to remove your spectacle powers. So let me ask you a question. What do you understand by refractive errors? And this is a very common condition. So let us get into the depth of it. Most of you who wear glasses and contact lenses would have heard this term called refractive errors but the rest of you may not really know what it really means. So let me explain to you in depth about this. So continuing my series on the latest in laser eye care, I'm coming with yet another episode of the Z8 technology. So friends, in case you've forgotten what exactly is the latest Z8 technology, I'm posting a link here in the description box. So why wait and let's get started with this next episode on the Z8. But really, why can you not see clearly? I have a dedicated episode on refractive errors and you can have a look at the link below. So let me give you a quick recap as to how the eye really functions. So the rays of light enter through the front part of the eye, which is the cornea, which is a transparent part, then get focused with the help of the lens onto the back part of the eye, which is called the retina. And this is how we can actually see when that light is transmitted via the nerve onto the brain that's behind in the head. A normal eye can hence focus clearly at all variable distances. Not every eye has the best visual outcome. It's actually the curvature of the cornea, which is the front part of the eye, and then the size of the pupil, the curvature of the lens, and the length of the eyeball that actually determines how you can really see. So the common refractive errors uh, that you get to hear today's world is nearsightedness or myopia, farsightedness or hyperopia, astigmatism or cylindrical power or axis and as we get older you are not able to read without glasses and this is called presbyopia. So if you have any of these conditions you have two options or rather three options. One option is of course you wear your glasses and everything gets into focus. The next option is to wear contact lenses and you don't need to wear glasses and you're fine. And the last option is laser surgeries. So there are lots of options to take care of this problem. So on this channel of eye logs, I have dedicated a full episode that gives you freedom from glasses or contact lenses. So in case you've not seen that, here is a link and kindly have a look at that. And I'm looking forward to your comments. So today's episode in, is in a way actually an extension of that. And I'm going to talk about the latest in laser Z8 technology. So the question here is, how do you correct this various refractive errors? with the help of Z LASIK. So what exactly is LASIK? L-A-S-I-K is laser assisted in situ keratomalusis. I know it sounds very complex, but really nothing to worry. What we are doing here is exactly a two-step procedure. In Z LASIK, we make a flap of the cornea. So we make a cut of the cornea at various depths, depending on the thickness of your cornea. Once that is done, we use another laser called the eczema laser and that actually changes the curvature of your cornea and that results in removal of your spectacles or dependency on your spectacles and contact lenses. So let me show you an animation of the latest in Z8 technology. So the Z LASIK is actually a femto technology. In the true sense, it is bladeless. Many, many years back when we needed to make a cut in the cornea, we used to use a blade that's no longer necessary. And this femto technology actually makes a cut in your cornea which is very accurate, very precise and always dependable. So once this LASIK flap is created with the femto technology and the eczema laser is applied to the cornea, this flap is just placed back. You'd be surprised friends, we don't need any gum, glue, fevi-quick, fevi-call. This flap naturally sucks into place and that's God's creation. And this does not need even stitches. Many times patients ask me that if you're going to create a thin flap, are you going to need to take stitches? The answer is no. The flap is just placed back, it stays in place and it heals. So let's clear a few myths about LASIK. The most common asked question to me is, 
But doctor, will the procedure really be painful? The answer is no. The beauty is we don't need to give any injection to anesthetize the eye. It's done under topical anesthesia means drops. We just put drops in the eye and that anesthetizes the eye. The procedure is entirely painless. So the next question always the patient asks me is, what will I really feel? So as a patient, what you're going to feel is a little stretch on your skin because that keeps the clip open. You'll feel a little water tickling down your side and you'll feel a little pressure. But there is absolutely no pain. The next myth is about a long recovery time. So let me tell you friends, the recovery time is really short. Most of my patients get the procedure done on a day one and on day two, they start working on the computer and they're back to work. So there's really not an extended time of recovery. The next question asked is, but sir, this is a new procedure. The answer is no. So statistically, the first laser procedure done on a seeing human eye was way back in 1988. So it's not a new procedure. We have a long term follow up for these eyes. The other confusion or the myth is, aren't contact lenses better than LASIK? Yes, they may be convenient, but you have to remember to remove them at night before sleeping. We've had lots of patients who made a mistake, left the contact lens in the eye, forgot about it, slept overnight, and we had a huge problem the next morning. Infections, hygiene, these are big issues with contact lenses. So this dependency is entirely removed by this procedure called LASIK. Another one myth is LASIK is short-lived, which is not true. So if you get your laser done, it's supposed to be forever. You will get reading glasses when you're 40. But with today's technology, we can even remove the dependency on reading glasses. Another one myth I want to clear is, can LASIK be done in pregnancy? The answer is you cannot do LASIK in pregnancy because there are hormone changes and that's the reason why we advise that during pregnancy, LASIK should not be done. Another one myth that I get commonly asked is, the doctor, LASIK is a very long procedure. You'll be surprised friends, LASIK actually takes 5 to 6 minutes per eye. So in 10 to 12 minutes, both eyes are done and you're free. The evaluation where the checkup of LASIK actually happens is a 2 hour procedure. So the procedure per se is really not long drawn. So let us look at the advantages of the latest Z8 technology. It is comfortable, it has a fast recovery, you can resume your activities the next day and it's very accurate, precise and uniform. So this is all about the latest in laser eye care surgery, the Z8 technology. Please look at the next episode which will be coming out soon and that will be on the latest technology on the Z8 called CLEAR. It's corneal lenticule extraction as a procedure to remove dependency on glasses. So how is this procedure? newer, safer, better than the Z LASIK is which will be conveyed in the next episode. So till then friends, stay tuned to this channel of iLogs. Do not forget to share this information with friends and family.